What's up, y'all, and welcome back to the channel. As you can see, no water in sight today. In the front yard, wanted to come at y'all with a little gear review right here and let you see this Jackson Big Tuna kayak. This is the best kayak they don't make anymore. If you want one of these, that's what's funny about me reviewing it today, you can't even go buy one new. So you're gonna have to find one used, but you can get one at a great price. It's a two-man, it can be a one-man. The most versatile kayak on the market. You got to check this thing out. I'm just going to jump right into it. We're going to go front to back. I'm going to tell you what I like, what I don't like, and everything in between. All right, y'all, let's get going. Take a quick look real quick. So as you can see, like we said, two-man kayak, and you can easily move the back seat up, and it can become a one-man. So it fishes great either way, about 14 feet, 100 pounds. Do not let the weight intimidate you, though. So the thing is, with a longer kayak, you get more leverage when you're loading and unloading. And I'm telling you, this thing handles like a 60, 70-pound kayak on the bank. But then when you get in the water, you got all that extra room, and it is an absolute tank. So continuing along here, the seats can go in a low or high position. Now, let me back up a little bit. I keep mine low, and here's why. You see, that Jackson sits high. So even in the low position, you're sitting higher than say most of your, your Hobies or you know some of your other big brand kayaks. So the low works good for me. However, if you wanna go higher, you can easily use the blocks that come with it to do that. So next thing I'll do, and I'm gonna show y'all, check these paddles out how I've got them strapped up and out of the way. This is great, you know, when you're hauling it in the back of the truck, when you get in the water, you know, like Colt, he's not paddling, I can have his paddle up here. It's not hanging off the side like most kayaks do. It's up, it's out of the way. Rods on the other side are the same way. Check this out. You could easily get a couple rods going that way, get a couple reels going this way. You can have four rods per side strapped out of the way but easily accessible at the same time. So that's something, I mean, Jackson really thought this thing out when it comes to fishing. So next thing, check this out. All right, cooler bag. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You know, the fact that it's sitting down in the water at water level, it's gonna stay cooler. Couple bottles of ice, you'll keep drinks cold all day. All right, but check this out. The way I've got my set up right now, I hope y'all can see, I've drilled a few little holes in here and what happens is water just passes through constantly. So you can keep fish alive. Say you catch a big one, you wanna take a picture in 30 minutes, you, you're not in a good spot with the sun. Well, you just sit him in here, close the hatch, He'll stay alive and well. I've kept fishing this thing up to eight hours. I've kept four nice bass up to eight hours. No problems with any of them staying alive. So that's really cool. And if you want to, if I want to go back to using it as a cooler insert, I just seal those holes with some flex seal tape or rubber, put my cooler bag back in there. Really, really neat feature. So as you can see right here, I guess you could call this one of the bad. Um, these grooves, this is an older kayak. It's about seven or eight years old. There was a little wear and, a, and some slight cracking. So I took and I used a plastic welder, welded that, and then I put some Flex Seal rubber. Hadn't had any more problems. Just done that more as a precautionary measure. So um, wouldn't really even call that a downside. But you got all kind of rope in here. You know, that's great. You can throw your water bottles. We go camping, we'll have water lined up down these flashlights whatever just does really good at holding everything in place all right i'm gonna jump to the back real quick now check this hole out jackson this is one of their greatest features to me this is a place to put a drag chain now they've got it where you can run a small cable maybe you can see what all i'm doing here but you can run it all the way to your seat and get real fancy however all i do i use a basic rope drag chain I keep it right here, so when I get to the river, if I'm if I like how I'm doing, then I've got it up here. And and if I want to start using it, then I can just throw it out. It catches really good in this hole, keeps you straight. If you want to know more about a drag chain, I've got a DIY video I'll put down in the comments if I can remember. But got all kind of ram ball mounts. This is the one I use for my GoPro to film while I'm fishing, but they're spread out across the kayak. Check this out. This is probably the coolest feature. Look at all this storage under there. I've got dry bags, life jackets right now. I put this rod under here. Usually I'll keep four rods under the deck when me and Colt go on an all-day trip. Check this out. This is a seven-foot rod. That's a seven-footer. And it just goes right up in there. 
And that's really cool to me versus, you know, keeping a crate with all your rods up in the back and potential of them getting hung and whatnot. Really cool to be able to get them under you, out of the way. You don't have to think about them. So super cool feature there. I was trying to think what else. Like I said, I can't speak enough to, to having the straps for the rods, man. That's just a great, you'll see in most of my videos, most of the time I'll have a rod either strapped up there, or they'll be under the deck out of the way. Really cool not to be fighting rods, but you just cannot, I cannot say enough about the Jackson Big Tuna. Right now you could find them on Facebook Marketplace. I'd say a good price is somewhere in the six to eight hundred dollar range you know knew these things were close to two grand with tax and now that they don't make them anymore you know that you buy, buying one used is your only option i paid 600 for this one i got it from somebody down in florida i've absolutely loved it i don't know how many hundred miles i've put on it had a great time fishing out of it don't really see me and Colt going to anything else anytime soon. With him being just now 11 years old, it's nice that we can both fish out of this comfortably and uh, enjoy doing it. So I hope that helps some of y'all that's looking at the Jackson Big Tuna. If you've got questions about them, hit me up in the comment comments. I'd love to help you any way I can. If you hadn't already, do us a favor. Be sure and subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Click on the notifications icon. And we'll see y'all next time out on the water.